All right, how's it going? Well, to family once again here with Sendo Rodriguez at South Coast Welding Academy, Houston, Texas. Back again with another great video. But this video is mainly for students, for beginners who are thinking about being welders. All right, so for today's video, we are going to work on a 2F fillet weld. And today's video is sponsored by Everlast, and we'll hear more about them later on in the show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so let's go ahead and start doing this. First of all, right, very, very important. What we have to do, we have to prep our, our uh, plates. So make sure that we get rid of all the mill scale, all that nasty stuff on top, all right? All we're gonna do is grind maybe about an inch, okay? Uh, so make sure you're using a grinding disc and not a, a uh, wire wheel. Very important, I've seen a lot of people trying to get rid of mill scale with just a wire wheel, right? That's not gonna work. Make sure you're using a grinding disc. All right, so there we have it. So we gotta make sure that we prep this nice and clean. So I went ahead and I grinded all this metal scale about an inch, okay? So make sure that you grind right in the middle on the bigger plate. Also, the small little piece, you wanna grind right here on the very bottom, okay? What we're gonna do now, we're gonna attack them just like this, okay? This is how we're gonna have them. We're gonna put a tack right here and another tack on the other side. All right, so we're doing 2F. Remember, that's horizontal, okay? So let's go ahead and tack this real quick. There you go, one tack. Let's go ahead and turn it around. Let's do the other tack. Boom. Very, very simple. So all we're doing, we're tacking one here, tacking the other side, right on the other side, right here. All right, perfect. Make sure that you don't tack them right here because if you tag them in this corner, remember that's where your root is going. So make sure that your tags are on the other side. There we go. All right. And then we pop off. Not bad, not bad. Boom. So there we have it. We have it tacked on the horizontal position, right? Look where I'm tacking. I'm tagging it right here in this corner. Okay, so I want to make sure that I prep my elbow into the 45. That way I can be nice and comfortable. So I'm going to start welding from left to right. Okay, horizontal position, right? Very simple. All right, we're going to bring this up. Keep it at a, at a proper height wherever you're comfortable. You don't want to be too low or too high where you're going to be very uncomfortable. Keep it maybe uh, around your chest or maybe a little bit lower than your chest, okay? All right, so let's bring this up a little bit. Let's go ahead and try it. Boom, pretty comfortable. Let's go ahead and start this. All right, so before we get started on the welding, uh, we're gonna be using an Everlast Lightning MTS 275. Okay, so we're gonna come over here real quick and we're gonna make sure that we choose the proper setting. We're gonna be doing stick, okay? So we gotta find stick, all right? So there's TIG, uh, aluminum, MIG, flux, and so on. So we're gonna scroll down all the way to where it says stick. Okay, perfect. Uh, it's showing right here stick. Boom, we're set. Now, since we're gonna do 6010 on a root, all right, we gotta go to power set. Boom, we're on 6010. We're gonna be using 1 8. Perfect. Let's go back to the other one. Now, see where it says where it's red? It's saying that it's at 85 amps. Okay, I already have it set for 85. That's what we're gonna be doing on root. Okay, let's move over and the arc force. The arc force is at 85%. I want good penetration, especially on my root. So we're gonna keep it at 85. All right, hot start, meaning that when I strike an arc, it's gonna stay really hot for about half a second, almost, almost half a second, okay? It's at 0.3. All right, let's go over. Hot start, I want it to stay hot for about 30%, all right? Uh, VRD, all right, we're gonna stay away from VRD. Go back to our amperage, boom, we're set. Very, very simple, okay? So now, let's go ahead and get ready and do our 6010 root. All right, so we're gonna start doing our root, okay? So, very simple. Make sure that you prep your, uh, your elbow, all right? Lean on the 45, get yourself nice and comfortable. You don't wanna be doing none of this. All right, get comfortable. 
Uh, you can do a dry run real quick, see if you're, you're good to go, see if you're comfortable. Uh, the technique that we're going to start using, we're going to do the whipping motion, okay? We're going to go forward, back, pause, forward, back, pause, forward, back, pause. And all we're doing, we're moving about maybe a nape in front of us, coming back to our puddle, pausing and you're pushing, okay? Very simple. All right, so forward, back, forward, back. Just like that. Make sure that we're in the groove. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Just like that. Remember, we're running about 85 amps. No rush, there's no rush. Keep going, keep going, pop off. Boom. All right, there we have it. That's gonna be our root pass, okay? So we're whipping it forward, coming back, pausing, pushing. You always gotta push, remember that. All right, so that's gonna be our hot pass. For our next step, let's keep it very simple. We're gonna be doing a hot pass and we're gonna be do, uh, using 60, 10, 1, 8. But we got to crank up our amperage, all right? So we're going to do this at 95, okay? We're going to go back to our Everlast Lightning MTS 275. Very simple, all right? Our arc force, we're going to go ahead and keep it at 85%. Everything is going to stay the same, okay? The only thing we're changing is our amperage. We're going to try to cover the root, okay? So we're going to go forward, back, up, down. Forward, back, up, down. The reason why we're going up and down is because we're making sure that we're covering our root, okay? So right in the middle of our root, we're gonna go forward, back, up, down. Forward, back, up, down. Very, very simple. Make sure that you're not brushing anything. All right, so there we have it. We have a nice hot pass. Now, our following step, we're going to start using 7018, 330T, okay? Uh, we're going to do our fill, uh, but we got to go back to our Everlast uh, Lightning MTS 275. Uh, we're going to switch it to 7018-332. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and press the power set button again. All right, we're going to press it. We're on 6010, and let's go ahead and press this arrow right here on the left. That's going to change this one right here uh, where it says 6010. So let's go ahead and press it. Let's go to 7018. Keep pressing it until it says 7018-332. Very simple. Now let's go back to the other one, to the other screen. So remember, we're gonna switch it on the amperage right here in the middle, okay? Let's go down to 90, very simple. All right, now I'm gonna change my arc force, okay? I don't want too much penetration on my 7018. So remember, we're gonna click on this arrow right here on the right, boom, see, see how it's red? Let's go ahead and change that to at about 20%. Let's do about 20%. We don't want too much penetration. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to the top. Let's go to the top. We're gonna keep that at 0.3, okay? Uh, that's our hot, our, our hot start time. And then the next one is hot start. Uh, we're gonna keep that about 35%, that's fine. We're gonna ignore VRD for now. 20% uh, on arc force and 90 at amperage. We're gonna go ahead and start doing our 7018 uh, fill, okay? So we're gonna be doing little tiny circles and this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna stay on this little crack right here. Boom, this valley right here. 
Okay, so we're gonna do small little circles and we're gonna pause on the top. Two small little seconds, little circles. Boom, one, two, one, two, just like this. One, two, very, very small. Do not exaggerate on your circles. They should look like you're dragging them, okay? Very, very simple, very small. We're set, so let's go ahead and start doing this. Small little circles, small little circles. Don't over exaggerate them. Keep them nice and tight. Nice and tight. Pop off. All right, very nice bead. Boom. Look at this. Let's go ahead and clean this up real quick. All right, so there we have it. We have our first uh, fill. Now we're gonna do our second half, okay? We're gonna throw another fill right above that first fill. And we're gonna, be, uh, we're gonna be covering that hot pass right on the top. So what we're gonna do again, we're gonna do small little circles, keep them nice and tight. We're gonna come down 50% of this bead. Remember, it's gotta be touching, okay? So all we're gonna do is favor the top. We always gotta aim up, okay, as we're going up. All right, so we're gonna favor the top, do small little circles, come down to this bead, to the very first fill. Boom, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Very, very small, there's no rush, okay? Let's go ahead and start. Nice and tight, nice and tight. You're always pushing. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Pop off. All right, looks pretty good. Very nice. Clean this real quick. All right, nice and clean. That's our fill. All right, nice and simple. That's our fill. All right, two beads right next to each other, 50-50. Remember, everything is 50-50. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there we have it. We just finished our fill pass, okay? So we did two fills right next to each other, uh, covering our hot pass. Now, for our next pass, it's our cap. It's gonna be a three bead cap. Let's keep it nice and simple, okay? So on our first cap, we're gonna place it right on this line right here, right, th right on this valley, right at the very bottom. Remember, we're always covering 50-50, so that means that we gotta cover 50% of this fill, the very bottom fill, and 50% of the, of the plate, the bottom plate, okay? So all we're gonna do is keep small little circles, the same thing as a fill, all right? Very simple, just like this. Tiny little circles, you're gonna pause and you're gonna push on the top. You're always favoring the top, remember that. Very simple. One, two, one, two, one, two. Those circles should look like you're dragging it, okay? If you see those big old circles, you're over exaggerating them, all right, that's not good. Keep them nice and tight, all right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, just remember that our cap is gonna be at 90, okay? Uh, we already uh, set at 90 amps. Everything stays the same, all right? Our machine is set up for 7018. We're good to go, so let's go ahead and start. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, no rush, no rush, one, two, one, two, pop off.
All right, perfect. So there we have it. That's our first cap. Let's go ahead and do our second cap. Our second cap is going to be right in between our first cap and our top fill. 50-50, same technique, smaller circles, push on the top, two seconds. Pause for two seconds, really fast seconds. Let's go ahead and start this. It's a little windy here. Just make sure you're not shaking too much, all right? Two seconds. Always pause for two seconds. Pop off. All right, so there we have it. That was our second cap. Now we're going to work on our very last cap, okay? Our third cap. But before we do it, here's a little word from our sponsor. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's do our very last cap. Remember, we are going to do tiny little circles again. Every single cap I do, I like to do small little circles, keep it nice and simple. I like dragging, dragging too, dragging is okay. Uh, the reason why I don't teach dragging is because our bodies tend to do this, in and out, in and out, start losing your balance, okay? Doing little circles gives you rhythm, okay? Nice little rhythm. Uh, so we're gonna keep our, our circles Remember, we're gonna do our last one, so that means we have to favor more the top, okay? We gotta make sure we have no undercut on the top, okay? All right, so tiny little circles, favoring the top, just like that. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Make sure you pause on the top. Pause, push for two small seconds, okay? Keep it nice and tight. Let's go ahead and get started. Always pushing, nice and tight. Pop off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there we have it. We just finished our 2F, okay? So I want you to get a, a little close up on this, okay? Let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you what we did, okay? So remember, we did a 2F fillet uh, weld. All right, basically it's a T-joint, all right? So I showed you how to prep it. Make sure that you clean your surface, two tags, one on each side, right? So we did our, our root, our first pass, it was our root, 60-10, 1 8, okay? Uh, we did the whip in motion, remember that. So this right here, very first one that you see right here, that was our root, okay? Very simple, you're gonna keep it right in the middle, okay? Our second pass, that was our hot pass, okay? Uh, we went forward, back, up, down, forward, back, up, down. Very simple, okay? That was uh, our hot pass. Make sure that you're covering your, your root, okay? Okay, after that, we did our fill. We did two fills, one at the bottom and one at the top, okay? Uh, we did small little circles, and we used 7018-332. Small little circles. Remember, do not exaggerate on your circles, okay? Keep them nice and tight, no rush. So two fills. After that... We're gonna do, we did our cap, right? 3B cap, here we have it. One, two, three. Make sure that you stack everything 50-50, okay? Everything is stacked 50-50, nicely fused. If you know it on the top, see how we have no undercut, okay? And that's because we favor the top, right? We're always aiming up high, tiny little circles. We're pushing and we're pausing at the same time. That's gonna avoid that undercut, it's gonna fill it up, okay? 
All right, no rush, all right? It's very simple. Remember, this is for students, all right, who, uh, for beginners who are thinking about welding, okay, who are thinking about welding or who are just uh, getting started. This is what we do here at South Coast Welding Academy. This is how we get them started, uh, breaking in their hands, okay? Let's keep it nice and simple. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there we have it. We just finished our 2 web uh, T-joint, all right? So uh, here, our students, we have them do T-joints, all right? It helps them out a lot. It helps them break their hand. Uh, it teaches them proper techniques. Uh, teaches them how to do a root, hot, fill, and cap, how to properly stack them. So I'm sure this is going to help you out. On this well, we uh, went ahead and used an Everlast Lightning MTS 275, and it did really great. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also help defeat childhood cancer, right? Donate. Make sure you donate. All right? Stand by for next time. Oorah!